Ever since Windows introduced this new start menu, I've been concerned about it being an attack vector for malware. Not surprising when you have all of these random links from God knows what sources that somebody could just click on. What's even more concerning is that some of these articles that the start menu links to have additional links in them. So even if the article itself is vetted, the uh, links it has could easily redirect to some kind of malware website. Now, all of these concerns were purely hypothetical until an email I received a couple of days ago. This is an inquiry from a product that claims to be Restore X360, which is a one-click instant solution for fixing various errors like OS corruption, hang issues, whatever that means, ransomware attacks, and also repairs more than 10,000 errors. <laughs> now this kind of crapware that makes ridiculous marketing claims to sell you some kind of basic recycle bin recovery software is unfortunately not uncommon and I get these kinds of shitty emails all the time. But what caught my attention here is the line that says, msn.com has reviewed our product. Now, obviously, msn.com is not a review website. Being reviewed by msn.com is like posting on Facebook and saying we've been reviewed by Facebook. But the concerning thing is, there is actually an article by some kind of sketchy profile I've never heard of called New York Tech that's obviously a paid hack job of SEO gibberish nonsense claiming that this Restore X360 is the best Windows repair tool. And if you read this, you can tell it's obviously not a review. Again, if your computer is slow, if it's not working well, that's probably because your hardware is outdated. No software is gonna fix that. Similarly, if you've been encrypted by ransomware, there are very few situations in which your data can be recovered. And those are all free options, decryptors made available by the Nomo Ransom Project, which you can learn about by going to my video on how to decrypt ransomware. No Windows tune-up tool is going to save you from a ransomware attack. But the scary thing about this article is again, being on msn.com, this is something that could technically show up in somebody's start menu. Now, these are all personalized recommendations, so it's different for each user. So it is entirely possible that articles like these are being shown to certain groups of users. Now, while I would classify something like this more as misleading advertising or adware rather than malware. If things like these are being posted on msn.com and being shown on the start menu, there's nothing to say that one of these links, as you can see, if you look at the bottom of screen, this is Restore X360. So it's linking to their website. Now there's nothing to say that a site like this couldn't be a host of malware. If Microsoft is allowing people to post ridiculous articles with links to random third-party websites like this directly to the start menu, there's nothing to say that this can't happen. And the user is going to look at the link and go, oh, it's msn.com, so maybe it's official. This is promoted by Microsoft. As the email is claiming here, msn.com has reviewed our product. So they're using this as a badge of legitimacy. Now, obviously experienced users like me know it's ridiculous, but not everyone's going to have that knowledge. Seeing something like that promoted in their start menu could totally get people to trust it or assume that Microsoft has verified whatever information is being shown here. Now, in the past, we've seen with Google ads, fake websites claiming to be OBS using Google ads to promote real malware, real Trojans as a Google ad so that when you do a search for a popular software like Notepad++ or OBS, you see an ad for the malware before you see the actual software in Google. And as you can tell from this article, the best Windows repair software of all time, MSN's curation isn't much better either. So honestly, I'd highly recommend all Windows users to completely disable this part of the start menu. Now, thankfully it is possible to do now. So you can go into your settings here. You can go to show or hide feeds and just disable Microsoft Start. And once you turn this off, you are not going to see that part of the start menu. So you can still use the widgets, you can still get your weather and everything, but you're not going to get the stupid articles and potential attack vectors opening up right on your desktop. Of course, you can 
also disable the widgets altogether using your taskbar settings. But frankly, it is quite embarrassing to see how low some of these platforms have gotten in terms of the quality controls and the user experience. But with Windows, as you all know, regardless of whether or not you have the widgets enabled, the computer is still reaching out, making connections to ad tracking sites like Scorecard Research and MSN.com in the background. And you could try to block them with the host file or with an advanced DNS filtering solution like Control D, which is the sponsor of today's video. As you can see, we have some top domains that have been blocked and in here is Scorecard Research, the core culprit the third-party site Microsoft uses to track your browsing activity and behavior. Go look it up, scorecardresearch.com. But we've also got things like edgeoffer.microsoft.com, so annoying pop-ups that you get on your Edge browser to change your settings every once in a while. Now with Control D, we can set up multiple devices and profiles, so we can go ahead and decide what we want to block. So we can block all kinds of ads and trackers, we can block adult content. They've even got an option for clickbait. You can also block IoT telemetry. So if you don't want your new refrigerator or TV to connect and sell your data, you could set this up on a central server. You've also got a very nice malware filter in here that's going to block some phishing sites, some Trojan downloaders, and you've got various options. So you can set the filter to strict if you want everything to be blocked. You can also get rid of crypto sites. Isn't that a blessing? You've also got the option to use third-party filters so this is fully expandable so you could for example add the ad guard filter list and block ads at the dns level you can configure it for your routers and you've also got a really nice view of the statistics as you just saw now if you're running an it department you could also use this to manage the connections for all of your employees and client computers make sure they don't infect the company network or whatever and i don't know if you've noticed but it's got a really good ui this is probably one of my my favorite themes in terms of new products that I've looked at. It's a really nice dark theme, doesn't look too dark, everything's clear and visible, the fonts are big, and it seems very easy to navigate as well. So for example, setting up the profiles in terms of what you want to block is very easy. And I like how distinct the categories are, like you can get rid of gambling sites just like that. And of course, you could even set up custom rules if you wanted to block a specific website, like if you wanted to just get rid of msn.com as a whole, just set that up and you're good to go. So big thank you to Control D for sponsoring this video. Please show them some love and check them out using the link in the description that tells them that you came from us. You can try out their free DNS or the advanced features by using the link in description or go to controlD.com. And please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. This is Leo. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.